Well, all of our viewers are special, but one in particular deserves a little extra attention tonight. I want to share with you a very special woman who has to be one of my biggest and sweetest fans. And after you see this, you'll see why I'm also one of hers. Readers all over the country are falling in love with When We Were the Kennedys, a best-selling memoir written by Maine author Monica Wood. It shines a poignant light on growing up in Mexico, Maine, and what it's like to lose a father at nine years old. Readers are also falling in love with someone else, Wood's very special sister, Betty. I'm going to call Kim, and I'm going to have her come out and get you. Okay? Count me among Betty Wood's fans. I've gotten to know her after finding out she is one of mine. Do you want to come, come and sit down? Wait. No, you be too excited. <laughs> In fact, Betty might be one of my biggest fans. What makes that so special is that Betty is developmentally disabled and has trouble consistently counting past 10. Yet she remembers just about every news story I've ever covered. For the past 30 years, Channel 13 has been one of the steady streams in her consciousness, and that's led to a lovely friendship. Where's my bed? <laughs> On a recent visit to the station, where she had a front row seat to the new news, Betty hid her eyes at any sign of shocking video or grave content and reminded me how often she watches. Every single night, I try to wave to the TV at home, but you don't see me. And now, a lot of people know about Betty's connection with Channel 13. Her sister Monica wrote about it in an article in this month's Yankee magazine called This Just In. It's only added to the Betty fan club. She's getting very famous, yeah. She can't walk down the street in Rumford these days without somebody stopping her. Because my bones are so delicate. <laughs> Speaking of osteoporosis. <laughs> Of course we were. Yeah. <laughs> when she isn't watching the news, Betty works at a community program for developmentally disabled adults called the Hope Association. They help a number of local charities. Wheels on Wheels. She may be a bit off on the name, but she sure knows what Meals on Wheels does. Because I don't want those people hungry. Stop. Her sisters have always known Betty brings joy to their world. Now readers everywhere are finding some Betty joy in theirs. Well, one thing maybe just to look twice when you see someone like Betty, uh, that there's something that they absolutely have to offer you. And, uh, and also just to see that, I mean, she's a really hilarious person. And there's just so much, um, I mean, no one in my life has made me laugh harder than Betty, and I speak for all my sisters, I'm sure, when I say that, uh, or cry harder on her behalf. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, my Betty. Till next time. Oh, can't wait till she comes back. This is the Yankee Magazine. It's out till the end of this month. This is the article, and there's a really sweet picture of Betty and me, her watching the news, <laughs> which I just love. She's just a doll. She is so cute. Yeah. That was so sweet. She's a special, special lady. So, yeah. hello, Betty. We love you. Yeah, thanks for watching, too.